Petra has a cool steel with me, you grow no fuses. Uh, last time we did quite a bit in the, uh, the last video. Took down super tough, overstated monsters. Um, another, uh, another movie. We found out that G and Darth Vader are really up to something. We just don't know yet, but it's probably gonna happen when we go to the next field study, more than likely. Because when has it never been boring when we go to our field studies? This is, it's never normal. It's never just go to the field study, look at the people in the shops, bring back a souvenir if you want. No, it's always something going on political or battle-wise. You know, just the usual. But uh, let's get on with this practical exam. And if you guys like this video or this series, then please don't hesitate to give it a big fat like and subscribe to the channel for more. All right, it's time for this month's thrilling practical exam. Is everyone ready? Ready as I'm going to be. Anytime. Being a first year against being no sweat until now, but I guess my luck's right now for combat training. And I can't even skip out since they won't let me graduate without it. You do want to actually finish school someday, right? <laughs> this is pretty much a big no. You spend more of your class asleep than awake, you could at least put some effort in the practical exams. Ah, right, right, I know. This is the part where we get to fight those things that look like Lammy, right? I can't wait to jump in. Hey, can we start yet? Can we? Please? Would you at least make a token effort to rein your hyperactive outbursts? <laughs> it seems... It's amazing how much just adding two new classes can shake things up. I guess I could have you all fight the combat show, but since we got two new challengers, this might how about we try a little something different. Something different? I wonder what Stranger she's concocted today. <laughs> it couldn't shut you's gotta keep you guessing, and by now you should be prepared for anything. So Reen Crow Millennium. You yes instructor? Gotcha. Right here! You're the first team. What? The rest of you will be divided into two groups. An all girls team and an all boys team. Emma's team will be team class president. Marcus, your team is team vice president. New team will be team whatever. Oh my god. Each team will be facing up against each other in a series of mock battles. Those are the dumbest team names I've ever heard. I can't really disagree, but I don't think the names are the biggest issue here. Hmm, quite an interesting split. Hey, wait a minute. Why are the three of us in totally separate team? Why do we have fewer members than them too? Well, by my estimation, these three teams are about equal in strength. Both the girls and boys teams are well balanced in terms of weapons and combat styles represented. And while your team does have fewer members, Crow has a lot of experience and has Eric Gentlem. So I think that kind of, kind of evens out your one man disadvantage, don't you? I see, it does make sense. Hmm. At least these team divisions are less contrived than I've come to expect from our field study groups. Although the part where a certain someone always draws the short straw remains remarkably consistent. Oh, what do you mean? Rain. Ha, I wonder which poor sucker keeps getting stuck in the hard luck teams. It's Rain. <laughs> He's like, eh. Fine, fine. I'll take the hand. I'm dealt with this time. I like that spunk. Well then, let's get down to business, shall we? The first battle will be between Team Whatever and Team Vice President. Alright, assume your positions, everyone. I... Th Why is y'all's CP, like, so low? Okay, alright, let's do this. Yep. Crap to exam. Yes, I changed up their outfits before, before I started the bout. She looks so cute! And I am loving Crow's other outfit. I am totally digging it. You can't take her seriously in that outfit, though. It's just like, I want a battle. And it's just like, okay, okay. Serve so against the guys first. No matter what distance we try to attack from, they have someone capable of countering us. Well, as long as we beat them all, we'll still win, right? Haha, <laughs> that's the spirit. But don't let your guard down. Yeah, just stay aware of the distance between us and them and don't miss any openings they leave us. Looks like they're all fired up and ready to start. Alright then, begin. 
Are there any rules at all? Stay on guard and don't get cocky. <laughs> Leave it to me. Very well. Meet the Funk is no one is knocked out during the battle, evade and encounter an enemy attack. I mean, I can't- I don't have any control over the second condition! Like, that's literally up to them. But I do- uh. Here I go! No. gonna do that. Ow. You missed. Oh, you get to counter? Might as well. Might as well for shits and giggles. It didn't say I couldn't use as break. Oh, got them all. Conditions met. I want to revive my help for the other team. That's enough. The match goes to team whatever. He <laughs> the three of you fought pretty well together. <sighs> we... We did it! Ugh. Not bad. Haha, <laughs> you guys didn't stand a chance. Don't get full of yourself. Haha, <laughs> come on now. The three of you certainly don't pull your punches. Hey, you got more than a few good hits in yourself. Whoa, whoa, don't start breaking out in cold drinks yet. There's plenty more action in store. Next up, Team Warrior versus Team Class Present. We'll begin after a five minute break. He's like, wait a minute. Wait, we have to do two in a row? Fine by me? Oh boy, we've got ourselves a real slave driver here. God dang. Well, at least we had a chance to catch our breath, but now we're up against the girls. It's safe to say that the biggest threat is Laura and Fee on the front lines. I'm guessing those two are gonna come out swinging with Alyssa and Emma covering them from the rear. Yeah, probably. You're going to have to hold the line and weather their attacks while we look for an opportunity to break through. Alright, hope you got your strength up because it's time for a second beautiful bout. Begin! Well, shall we begin? I'll hang Of course. Yeah! Meet the following conditions known as not during battle, so cancel an enemy art. I think the only way you can cancel an enemy art is if you kick their ass hard enough. I think. No one knocked out, cancel an enemy art. Alright. Is he okay, they're already linked. So He doesn't have that much. Oh, no, no, no. Our 
focus activate. God dang. Ah, dang, they are really going after Reen. My turn. Huh? That's for you. Huh. Thanks. But did that have no effects? God dang, you got all three of them. Oh no, you don't. Target locked. Uh -huh. Fire. All right. Arcus, activate. Here. <laughs> Thanks. My turn. Analyzing the enemy's vitals. I've got it. Go. I need to take these out the most. He was like, here, get some bullets. Right. 
Nah, because she's about to go out. to me. I cannot believe at the very last second she got one of my peoples. I was careless. That's that. Let's keep moving. Ooh, trophy arm, frequent fighter. At the very last second she got one of my people. Oh my god. I did it! <laughs> I did it! Riot beam can now be used in Aragonal. Fires a beam of light. Wait, soldier boss. Wild card. Random effect on ally or enemy. Draws a card, leaving everything to chance. But what? So what? So it could be something bad, and then it, it just like it, go it goes to my enemy. Oh lord. Yeah. Uh, Sarah's not gonna like this too much because we didn't meet the conditions for this battle. That's enough. And it looks like victory for the stalwart team. Whatever. Not bad, not bad at all. I can't believe we lost. We fell just short of victory. You all fought admirably. She's saying it like we died. What a shame. It was a close one though. Whoo, these class seven gals would just straight would just straight take you up before they take you up for a night on the town, huh? <laughs> well done, Milo. You too, Emma. I'd make Team Winner go a third round, but there's no one else to fight, so I guess they get to rest. We'll review your points later, but in the meantime, we've got the Team Class President and Team Vice President going head-to-head. -head. Both teams step forward. I'm surprised Sarah didn't comment on that in the second one. Well, looks like that about wraps it up. That's f this final fight was a real thriller from start to finish, too. And <laughs> Baka's like, uh, it was certainly a good fight, but... Uh, who would have thought that they'd take advantage of such a tiny opening like that to almost... So, those t the, the guys' team lost twice, so they're just salty as hell. That's Lauren Fee for you, I guess. <laughs> I imagine that where combat is concerned, they would handle best most second years. The swing of sword is one thing, but we were relying on Alyssa and Emma to keep up the pressure. Yep, would have had it been nearly as fetched without them. 
I'm glad you think so. Still, it's safe to say that everyone fought pretty well. I had this fun feeling that Reem's team would come on top, though. Winning both of your matches with a new team is pretty impressive. <laughs> I feel like I was right on Crow Moon's efforts, so. Nah, don't say you're so short. You're pretty strong. And you're, you're tougher than you look, too. I see your practical exams are as unconventional as ever. I bet I know who this is. Oh wait, never mind, I don't know who this is. Uh, I was expecting him to make an appearance. I thought it would be Patrick again. Oh, Instructor Netherall? Oh, it was under the impression that having back-to-back -back battles with uneven odds was par for the course in actual warfare. And don't you think learning to fight effectively against cunning opponents with team tactics is important for any soldier? Well, that's certainly true. Um, so what brings you here, Instructor Netherall? Please tell him this isn't the part where you have to fight both the instructors at once. Uh -huh, of course not. It's just that, like last month's field study capital, your upcoming field study is also a bit unusual. Instructor Nethra here has been involved in making me rooms, which is why I asked him to come. What do you mean by unusual? That sounds a bit ominous. Well, we just about wrapped things up anyway, so let's move on to announcing your next field study locations. Who is reading with this time? Because I don't think anybody's having any major problems. Field study August. Reen, Laura, Emma, Eusis, Gaius, Millennium. Oh, we're going to Legram. Uh, B, Alyssa, V, Machias, Elliot, Crow. After days, reassemble at the designated location. Okay, not too bad of a matchup. Legram is Laura's hometown, right? It is. It is Lakeside Town in the south of Corson Province, blanketed by thick fog for much of the year. As a castle town dating back in the Middle Ages, it was more than its fair share of local legends and tall tales. It sounds like quite a historical hotspot. <laughs> if I had gone home for certain vacation, I would have returned to Trista only to turn around and head right back home again. Uh huh, I guess that's true. So what about this Jura Special Economic Zone? I'm pretty sure it's a city up in the far northwestern coast of the Empire. We used to be independent, but the Imperial government runs a show there now. Oh, there it is! I think Grant exited it about eight years ago. M Million? I'm guessing the Grant she's referring to is, yeah, probably Mr. Blood and Iron himself, the Chancellor. Honestly, do you even think about the words coming out of your mouth? Why? It's not like it bothers me. Both locations seem worth checking out. Though that final line makes me curious. None of our other field study instructions had anything like that. After two days, we assemble at the designated location. True, usually where we go, that's where we stay for the duration of the field study. Care to share a little light on that instructor? Uh -huh. I could, but I wouldn't want instructor to feel left out, so I'll let him do the honors. As you wish. After completing your assigned tasks in your respective areas, you will be boarding a train bound for the Renview Point. That point is notable military installation in the southeast of the Empire, Gorilla Fortress. Real of Fortress, that's, that's that giant base on the border facing the Republic. So after we finish our regular field set, we're going to be whisked away to a major military base? As part of your field study, of course, I'll be joining you there to serve as your military liaison for the duration of your visit. Naturally, you all be giving a series of assignments visit to that location. Hmm. Wow, sounds like fun! I very much doubt that's the intent. Huh. Sounds like I'm going to be put through the ringer on my very first field study. Oh, uh, what is Elliot thinking about? Something wrong? No, no, no don't worry about it. Uh, well, I'm looking forward to another installment of your action pet field study. <gasps> Wait a minute. If Elliot's thinking about this, then are we going to meet Elliot's dad? Is his dad at the fortress? Because his dad's in the military. Oh no, is that is that probably why Elliot's worried? He's like, oh crap. Maybe? Maybe. Putting my theories out there. But just so you know, I'm planning on joining you at Gorilla Fortress too. 
I'm not going to let the big bad army man push my adorable little students around. I have no intention of, a of asking anything unreasonable of them, nothing that debates from their curriculum. Unlike a certain other instructor whose name we shan't mention. <laughs> you see the sparks flying right now. They're, are they about to fight? She's like, I'm about to punch you in the face. <sighs> Is it even safe to keep these two in the same room together? Probably not. been tough Wakey, wakey, eggs and baggy. Oh, right. We're heading out on our field study today. He sounds so happy. He's just like, I already know I'm heading into some bullshit. No need to get up just yet. But I guess it wouldn't hurt. Or I could just give in and go back to sleep. I'm still feeling kind of beat after training last night. Huh? I knew it. I knew someone was going to come in. Coming to the room. <laughs> Is she about to choke me? Wakey, wakey! Come on, Reed, it's time to rise and shine. We're gonna miss the train. S stop that! That's not very ladylike. <laughs> right in the gut. I can't believe it! My very first class trip. We're gonna have the best time. How much money do I get to spend on sweets and stuff? Oh my oh, god. Uh, do bananas count as snacks? N yes. No, no they don't! Just... Just get off me. Please. And stop bouncing on the bed. Like, she just keeps bouncing on it. And he's like, his head just keeps going all over the place. Ah, there you are. Good morning, Reen. Seems you had quite the rude awakening this morning. Yeah, Coffee only wishes it was that effective. She must have really been looking forward to this trip. <laughs> Certainly seems so. She holds her own in class, to be sure. But at times like these, she seems like any other kid her age. I'm looking forward to finally getting the chance to visit Laura's hometown. I've heard that Lagram is known for both its many legends and for the mist that hangs over the town for much of the year. I don't know which stories you've heard, but most of them have been exaggerated in the retelling over time. It certainly doesn't lack for scenic beauty, though. I was hoping I'd have the opportunity to invite you to see it. Though I wish Elisa, B, and the others in Group B could have come with us. <laughs> Me too. I hope they enjoy their trip. Sorry to keep you waiting. Jay, he wasn't in the safety of the uses. <laughs> For uses. Uses. Good heavens. Ugh, can someone do something about this child? She's out of control. <laughs> okay, looks like everybody's here. Let's go, go, go! I keep seeing this glowing in the background. Huh? There's something in my mailbox. I have a time sticker. Oh, she gave me a sticker! Missy Signature and serial number 120 are printed on the sticker. Isn't this Misty? Why is her hair pink in this, though? There's a serial number on it, too. Is this a prize or something? Oh, it came with a note. Last week's little chat was fun. Sorry to use you as a show material, though. Hmm. Oh, yeah, she did talk about her meeting on the show last week. I guess that's why she sent me the sticker. Well, these seem pretty rare, so I'll be sure to take care of it. What you doing, Reen? Did something arrive for you? Yeah, an acquaintance sent me something. An acquaintance? Hmm. 
What a curious choice of words. Just remember that students shouldn't get involved in anything too dubious. Okay, you've all definitely got the wrong idea here. Uh huh. Well, shall we head towards the station? Yes, we shall. And we never cast Misty at the station for some reason. She's probably at her day job. We need to change trains at Barnhart to get to Legram, right? I suppose it'd be better for us to take the cruising main line than the transcontinental line then. Right, after reaching Barnhart, we'll need to change to a local line, the Emble Bridge Line. There's only one train every two hours, so I'm hoping we can time our route to avoid a lengthy wait. This is at San Emma right now. We should arrive in Barnhart somewhere around 10.30 and reach the Glam by noon. We've got work waiting for us the first day too, so the earlier we can reach the Glam the better. Agreed. And there's always a chance our class prom child will make another scene. Hee <laughs> Oh, you guys are here earlier than I expected. You all ready to leave too? No, we still got another 20 minutes, so until the next train barter comes in. You're all going to the Jurors SEZ, right? I've never been, but it sounds kind of fun. <sighs> Apparently, it's quite a trip to get there, though. It's on the Empire's northwest coast. You have to cross the entire Lamar province to get there. Well, it's not often you get to go on a nice long trip like this. But don't worry, the owls will just fly by as I teach you all how to be as cool and popular as I am. Yeah, thanks. But I think I'll just take a nap instead. Haha. Uh -huh. Passenger service bound for Heimdall. We ask all passengers wishing to board, please wait on the platform. We'll see you in two days then. See you in Gara Fortress. Bye. Have a safe trip. See you later, Elliot. Later, Marcus. And Crow, at least make a token attempt to stay out of trouble. No worries, if you hear about it, it means it was on top of my game. When those days rain, you'll thirst for a life of adventure. Right. Alright, guys, good luck. Try not to, you know, drive everyone crazy for the next two days. Okie dokie! Why not? Why do I not find the slightest bit reassuring? You look to the words right out of my mouth. May the guidance of the winds and the gods be with you all. I look forward to seeing you again in two days. Yusis is like a very tired dad at this point. He's just like, why can't you just sit down, take a nap, play with a toy? Don't bother me right now. That's literally his mood right now. We still have a short while longer before our train arrives. We have to purchase our tickets now while we're waiting. Yes, just go straight there. Good morning, everyone. Group A is headed to Legram, correct? Yes, that's right. We'd like to purchase tickets to Legram via Barnhard. Come right up. Do you want them right away? Yeah, I'm actually just buying them right now. Okay, so that's six patches back for the ground by Barnhart. I'll have the tickets for you in just a moment. Oh, you're all heading out? Who is this? That's a new voice. I'm pretty sure I haven't heard that what? voice yet. Oh, that's why the voice isn't familiar. It's this dude. Isn't that... Isn't that? Huh? What are you doing here, Lecter? You miss me already? Sure did. I'm gonna be back in Crossbell starting the day after tomorrow. Might never have the chance to see you again in this lifetime, so I figured I'd drop by and say hello. God dang. Whatever. You're so silly. There's no way you or Gramps would die that easily. Well, that old goat might scare off the reaper, but I'm pretty weak, you know. Who's he?
Captain Lecter Arundel of the Imperial Intelligence Division. We saw him while we were on our field study in Nord. He's the one supposedly responsible for negotiating with the Republic's army to prevent war from breaking out. But... <laughs> so he's the iron blood they call Scarecrow. I have to admit, he doesn't look like someone who's What? What? Cat! What? 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 No, no one noticed that. Guy in the back, you didn't notice this blackhead just jump through and just slip on by? Like, no one noticed that? No one caught that. No one caught that at all. Well, I'm sure this little drop of sunshine's got suspicious written all over her, but I hope you're getting a- Don't hesitate to give her a good spanking if she causes too much trouble, though. She would probably scream her head off if we spanked uh, her. Okay. Um, we'll try our best to be a welcoming class. I'm not gonna cause them any trouble. Yes, you are. Unlike you, I'm a little angel. A little angel would casually whip out something like Eric Getlam in public. Do you have any idea how much overtime we put in just covering up for you? Huh? You do? Hmm. Passenger service bound for Heindall. Now arriving on platform two. We ask that all passengers wishing to board please wait on the platform until the train has come to a complete stop. If you'll excuse us, Captain. I'm afraid we need to catch this train. Sure thing. Uh, good luck out there, guys. Oh, and by the way, I I'd prefer it if you referred to me as secretary rather than captain in public. After all, I am a second secretary for the Imperial government. I see. Well then, if you'll excuse us, Mr. Secretary. You better bring me back a souvenir from Crossbow. Like, she's just like, to her, she's like, big brother! And everyone's like, intimidated by him. Like, oh my god, it's him. He single-handedly stopped the war. Just casually on top of it, just like, huh, let me enjoy this ride with you. No one notices the, the cat on top of the train? Nobody. Nobody caught that. <laughs> they seem like an even more interesting bunch than I'd heard. Hope she gets the chance to soak in the good times at school like I did. Well, well. For two Ironbloods, you two have a pretty cozy thing going. Uh-oh. Looks like a scary lady's got me in her sights. Time to make my exit. Not so fast. Didn't you have something you were supposed to give me? Come on. Cough it up. He's like, damn it. <laughs> they don't call you the purple lightning for nothing. Maybe you should consider giving up this teaching gig and coming to work for us. I'll bet we could offer double what the Academy's paying you. No sweat. Ah, strictly business, huh? Yeah, she's like, nah, I ain't full for that. I'm not getting any younger here. Hand it over. This is the list of every member of the Imperial Liberation Front that we're aware of at present. We've made progress in identifying their top figures, too. I see. I suppose I should thank you. Oh, uh, one more thing. Claire had a message she wanted me to pass along. I'm listening. Their primary target is Crossbell City. But there's a chance that something else will be going down within the Empire at the same time. Those were her words. So they, they already predicted that they're going to do like a double attack. They're just like, we just don't know what kind of attack.
Oh, so now you don't have a voice. Wow, it's like a sea of green out there. Hey, you just why is the wheat all green? Wheat, barley, and rye are all cultivated by the Persian province. Each grown in its season, which means that what you're seeing right now is the fall wheat crop. Oh, look, there's a weird scarecrow. Ah, look at his head. It looks like messy like lettuce. Ugh. Well, well, as long as she's enjoying herself. <laughs> At times like this, she seems just like any other girl her age. It's still hard to believe she's only 13. That's a year younger than my brother. It really puts things for second, doesn't it? I suppose this is as good as a time as any to tell you more about where we'll be conducting our next field study. The Graham is a small town in the south of the Empire, situated on the shore of Lake Ebel. My father, Vincent Arson, governs the town which itself is part of the cruising province. That sounds familiar. If I'm not mistaken, isn't that province used his father overseas? Well, technically, yes. But Le Graham is known for being a particularly self-reliant region. I doubt the visit has much interest in the authority of the liege lord. I suppose I cannot deny it. My father can be a little too... free-spirited at times. But I can't help but feel your father's governance has its own issues, especially where taxation is concerned. Hmm. It's not as though I'm unaware of that. Um... Sorry, I seem to have touched a sensitive issue here. No, there's nothing for you to apologize for. Changes like these are the daily bread of nobility. It's true that the four great houses do have immense power, but it's still up to the individual feudal lords to govern the respective regions. As far as taxation goes, each region has its own stat st statutes, which makes the whole situation even more complicated. It is quite convoluted. Although the imperial government does seem to have attempted to unify all regions under this, this single tax system, hmm. That's one of the major points of dispute between the two factions. Incidentally, my father's stance on the matter is, hell will freeze over before I consent to it. Damn. <laughs> he said, hell will freeze over before I consent to that. He said, fuck that. I do understand the point point of view, but each region of the Empire has its own traditions and customs. Attempting to normalize all those under a single system seems a little insensitive. Hmm, the more you tell me, the more complicated it sounds. Well, it's certainly not an issue with a nice clear-cut solution. This is so boring! Don't you have any more cool stories about Lagram? Uh -huh. I suppose a couple students batting around ideas about taxation isn't going to really solve anything. But I guess to me, one of the things Lagram is most famous for is the Asher School. Oh, is that the thing Laura Dad teaches? That's the one. The Astrid School of Sorcerer is a style passed down by the ancient Knights of Erebonia. It's one of the two most famous martial styles in the Empire, and the other being the Vander School. I've heard there's a training hall where students of the Astrid School come from all over the Empire to train. Indeed, there is. Several students of the school are studying the Grim at the moment. The rest are scattered throughout the Empire. And Lord's Father instructs them all? He does. Vincent is not only the Lord of the Grim, he's also the current head of Astrid School. Oh ho! Doesn't it have some super cool title like the Radiant Blade Master or something? It sounds crazy strong. This may sound unseemly coming from his daughter, but his strength is quite frankly inhuman. I would easily place him among the three strongest people in the Empire. He sounds like an incredible guy. I've heard plenty of rumors about his strength myself. From what I understand, he acts as a combat instructor for this nation's armies, both provisional and imperial. Though as a result, I hear he spends a little amount of time away from his territory. That is unfortunately the case. We may be busy, we may be busy my home, but there's no guarantee that my father will even be there. I see. That's a shame. I'd really like to meet him. Uh, let's see. You know what? I'm gonna play Blade first. Who don't want to challenge? You know what? I didn't get to hang out with Emma, so Emma's gonna be one on the challenge. <laughs> Please go easy on me. Shall we draw them? Oh, it looks as though the first move is yours. Okay, let's see. How do I want to do this? We have the same score. Let's draw again. Allow me to play first, then. I'm 
I'm gonna use a bolt card. Ouch, I wasn't expecting that. I'm gonna use a bolt card. Ouch, I wasn't expecting that. I'm gonna use a bolt card. Oh, you suck. Sorry, I'm using a mirror. Oh, uh, you suck. It looks as though I you suck. Time. I was really thinking hard about this, too. I was just like, mm. Uh, It says that I'll only get, like, you know, strength of bonds with the first person, but let's see if that's true or not. I never tested it. Please draw a card. We're evenly matched. Let's redraw. We're evenly matched. Let's redraw. <laughs> then I'll make the first move. Divine Bolt! We're evenly matched. Let's redraw. We're evenly matched. Let's redraw. <laughs> Then I'll make the first move. An excellent duel. I suck at this game. I suck so hard. Uh, I suck at this game. Oh yes, we wish you them. I'd like to ask a favor of you all. A favor? I was hoping it would be possible for you to show your respective styles to the after school students. This group has previous of the eight leaves one day school, court fencing, and spiritual life. And I have no doubt each would be interest to the students of the martial arts. Hmm, perhaps so. The chance to learn more about other schools might bring our own rockets too. Are you sure my spiritual would be interested in though? Both Rena uses at least two swords. Certainly, after school teaches more than just sword play, while some use two handed swords like myself, other use spears and bows. Perhaps even Emma's oval staff may be of interest. You, you think? Hey, what about me? What about me? Thanks for your strong too. But nobody has what you have. True, but it's just raw strength. There's no skill or technique involved. I concur. Watching Eric and Declan wouldn't afford the students any chance of learning new stance of their own. Boo, you mean you still fair leave me out. Anyway, I like to think that would be a nice gesture, but that but that's assuming we get the chance before our field study is over. Of course I look forward to it if we do. You're still thinking about the perfume! God dang! Lavender. Surely it's just coincidence. It has to be. What's wrong, Emma? You've been getting motion sickness or something? No, 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 I'm fine. I'm just wondering if we might be able to see Lorraine Castle while we were with Graham. Oh, the castle that came with the instructor Thomas lesson the other day? Weather permitting, it can be seen quite clearly. It's surrounded by mist more often than not, but such imagery has its own appeal as well. Oh wow, this actually sounds pretty neat. Yeah, it does. I'm just thinking it would be nice if we could apply some of the knowledge we learned in class to our field study, don't you think? Uh huh, yeah, that would be. Haha, uh -huh. look how the trees going past the window, this is so cool! I wanna ride more trains like this, it's really fun! Really now, I'm kinda of surprised. I assumed being in the intelligence division meant you'd be taking trains all the time. Well, I usually just ride on Lammy when I'm out on a mission. And the super fast train Claire and the others in the RMP use doesn't have any windows. And Grant's special train is too fancy, so you can't really relax. Huh? Interesting. It's not often that you get to ride a regular train like this, then is it? But if you get too excited here, you're not going to have much excitement left for when we reach our destination. Especially considering how early you got up this morning. Haha, I'm so excited. I can barely sleep. I'll be fine. I've still got plenty of energy. She's knocked out. Mm huh? What was I saying? See, I told you. We'll be a barn soon, so try and get some sleep on the next train, okay? Mm, okay. Haha, sounds like this one really. She really is like any other 13 year old. And now she's like asleep now. <laughs> or she's trying to stay awake. Yeah, that's literally me on a plane or a train. Like at. 
At first, I'm like awake, and next thing you know, I'm like going in and out, in and out, in and out. So I, I feel her pain right now. The Ministry of Railways wishes to thank you all passengers for their patronage. This special express line is bound for Barnhard. Our next stop is Barnhard, the terminus of this express line. Please ensure you have all your belongings with you when disembarking the train. <sighs> Finally! We have to change trains here, right? That's right. A train bound for Lagram should be arriving in about 10 minutes. We'll need to hurry if we want to board it in time. That's too bad. I'm kind of hoping the chances of Pokemon Barnhard. Oh yeah, it's your first time bar, isn't it? I'll be glad to show you around should the opportunity arise. You did graciously open your home to us in order after all. I was about to say, what's with the music? I thought it was about to be like dreary, but it just, you know, it's kind of mellow. Probably because that long pause. I'm gonna change all your outfits. You're gonna be just kiss Milliam. Oh, they just go straight to the other train. It's like, oh look, conveniently the train's right in front. Kitty! And then the kit, the cat just keeps following them. Who are you, kitty? There's no way, even, even the most lawyer and trained of cats don't do this. They don't just follow after you across the country like that. Wow, this forest is really dense. And she's still knocked out. It so, almost looks like a scene from a picture book, as though if you kept very quiet, fairies might come out to play. Hey, maybe. It might not come as a surprise that there are many such legends in this region. Clarence Maiden, Leon Sandlot, was born in Legram. Because of her preternatural strength and beauty, some believed her a channeling, switched at birth by the fairies. Really? Fascinating. The reality is a bit less rosy. The family line of Count Sunlight came to an end when she died under mysterious circumstances. At the War of the Lions, it's hardly surprising that such tales have persisted. Chandlin, huh? Oh. Are we about to see the castle in the town? Look at that fog. Oh my god. It came so suddenly. Well, the Grim is known for its fog, among other things. This is not all uncommon for those time of year. The fog does, keep, does help keep the temperature cooler during the summer, though. In that case, bring on the fog! Hmm. No, Lemmy, you can't smash that. <laughs> it's just, they're all looking at her like, what is she dreaming of? Ooh, look at that fog. And it's foggy all the time, apparently, here.
You can already tell we're about to run all throughout this forest. The Gram, the Lakeside Town. It's stunning. This is the first time I visited the Gram, but it, it's every bit as beautiful as I've led to believe. Where's the castle at? So this is the town of myths and ancient legends. I am pleased to see you have taken a liking to it. Unfortunately, the mist does hinder the visibility. On a clear day, the surface of the lake gleams like a polished river. Fog or no, it's breathtaking all the same. Welcome home, my lady. What? H how long have you been there? Interesting, I couldn't sense him coming at all. I have returned, Klaus. I see your proficiency in the art of concealment has not diminished my time from home. Aha, uh -huh. on the contrary, my age has begun to get the better of me, I'm afraid. Watching you grow mature is the only joy left to an old man like me. Surely you jest. Can I assume the father's not coming to meet us means he's currently away from the gram? I'm afraid so. He also mentioned that he was unsure if he might return. I did expect that might be the case. Nonetheless, I'm going to introduce you. Hey everyone, this is Klaus, the Asher family steward. He fills in for my father in his absence and serves as acting master for the Asher School of Swordsmanship. The acting master? Huh, sounds like an amazing old guy. Uh huh. Butler Klaus. And he even gives you a little bow, too. I trust you all had a pleasant trip, ladies and gentlemen, Class 7. Let me be the first to welcome you to the Gram. If you'll come with me, I'll ask you to the mansion. And then we just teleport. So it doesn't look like the years have really changed too much here. It's like walking into a bygone era. You really see the influence of Amzit in this region, too. Just look at the stone monument. I believe that was built long before the Astro family was entrusted with the guns in this region, which would make it so hundred years old at the very least. Hmm, it has a rather strange shape, too. Woo woo! What's that? That's probably the Lance Maiden. It appears to be a statue of the Lance Maiden. That's right, the center statue is the Lance Maiden herself, while those two beside are the two of the ancient Ritter. I believe these were made over 200 years ago as well. Indeed, tradition holds that they were constructed to honor the achievements of the Saint Sandalot. Incidentally, the, the knight kneeling on the lower right is the ancestor of the Vincent. Huh? So that's Laura's great 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 grandfather, huh? You'll need to find a few more greats. We're about 10 generations apart. Lady Laura? Lady Laura, I am so pleased to see you back in the ground. The person did mention that you'd be returning. I'm so happy to see you again, Lady Laura. I'm so glad to see you all as well. I'll just be back for two or three days from the field site. It's part of my coursework at the academy. I'll be sure to visit more with each of you later. Oh, of course, please do. I'd love to hear all about how life it came to be treating you. <laughs> she seems to be quite popular around here. Yeah, it looks like the Vincent's family has built up a good relation with the people of the Graham. Oh, uh, Yusuf does not like that because his family is pretty much the opposite. They don't really care for their people. They're just kind of like, we rule over you. Huh, whatever. Oh, it's him again. Looks like they finally showed up. Well, it's been pretty busy around here lately. I could use some help. Kitty! Where are you going? Stop being sneaky. Huh? Oh well, guess I'll go look over there. Look over there. There's some tasks one more time, just to be sure. You can hear sword fighting all over the place. I can hear the ring of steel on the blade. Undoubtedly, the sound of swords crossing. Ah, so this must be the Astrid Squish training hall. Indeed it is. I have more memories in this building than I could possibly count. Although many of them involve being soundlessly defeated by my father or Klaus. Oh, my apologies, my lady. Well, it's pretty apparent he's not your run-the-mill butler. 
You can tell by the look of Kirsten, so he has a master's poise. And this is Vincent I should mention. Wow, so this is where Laura lives? You expect nothing less from Vince Count. And it seems to be built on a hill overlooking the town, too. <laughs> it was originally built with the intent that it would function as a stronghold should the need ever arise. Welcome to the hold of Vince Count Astrid. Allow me to show you around in my father's stead. What an incredible view. It's so beautiful. Not often I take a view this spectacular. Say, is that? Oh, there's the castle. Whoa, castle! Oh, that must be Grant's famous landmark. Indeed, the Logren Castle. Though the, dur during the War of the Lions, it served as the land's maiden stronghold, a saint's castle towering over the shore of a shimmering lake. Just seeing it, there's all its majesty makes me want to set brushes to canvas. It does seem like a scene tailor made for painting. I agree, but there are all plenty of time to take them soon later. Right now, we need to go pick up our list of field study tasks. Oh, alright. Are you the one who prepared our task for us, Klaus? Actually, the signing of your dues here has been trusted to a professional. A professional at what? Can you elaborate? Head to the Bracer Guild in the town's central plaza. At the Master's VS, they have taken on the responsibility of preparing all the tasks for your field study here. The Bracer Guild? There's a branch in Legram? Indeed, there have been a small branch of guild in this town for many years. My family has good relationship with the guild. They've done much for us in the town over the years. Oh, really? Well, whatever. Not like they asked me to do anything. Hmm? What are you babbling about? Haha, uh -huh. nothing much. Just thinking out loud. Anyway, it looks like we need to pay a visit to the guild. Yeah, I'd like to get through as many today's tests as we can. We'll be taking our leave now, Klaus. Of course. Please take care, everyone. Okay, so the thing is done. It's done. Then you guys will see the change I made to the outfits in the next battle. And in the next video. Because, yeah. We're at the end it right here, guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video. I hope you guys enjoyed the... Uh, the episode and next time we'll go to the bracer guild we'll do a whole bunch of missions there's probably gonna be tons and we're probably gonna be running around the, f hmm. the forest like a lot because that freaking forest was huge as we passed by it but until then i'll see you guys next time bye see you later